Hey guys, this is Pram bringing you a new series to the Top Cut, a weekly series called Pram's Breakdown. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just take a deck and really break it down for you guys. You know, we'll look, take a look at it, we'll go through what it plays and why it plays the things it does and why it doesn't play some cards that you might think it should play. And we'll go through all the options that it can play and all things like that. So here we go. Uh, this week's deck is Plasma. So here it is. We have three Chirum, two Thunderous, four Deoxys, one Amsol, one Lugia. So going down the list, we have f uh, three Colorus Machine, a Computer Search, four Catcher, two Switch, two Plasma Ball, a Tool Scrapper, two Ultra Ball. For the supporters, 3 Colorus, 4 N, 4 Juniper, 2 Skyla. To round out the deck, we have 3 Frozen City, 2 Floatstone, 2 Silver Bangle, and then 14 Energy. 4 Blend, 4 uh, Prism, 4 Plasma, and then 2 DCE. Alright, so let's return to the top and really just go over why they, uh, the numbers are and why. You'll notice that Keldeo is not in here. Why is that? Well, first off, we have three Chirums. Uh, Chirum, that number has been pretty set in stone. Uh, it's really hard to... You really, I need, need at least three. Sometimes you want four, but... Uh, yeah, that, you know. I just... Uh, I just think four is fine. Or three is fine. So, then we have... Two Thunderous, I kind of want three. It's a, it's like the best starter in the deck, but sometimes you just can't afford the space for it. Four Deoxys, I've heard talks of people going down to three. However, you only need two, you only really need two Deoxys out on the field at any given moment, but sometimes you need the third one, and having four ensures that you can do it. One Absol. I actually don't think Absol is that good. However, people play in the Mind Jack all the time. And that's really the only reason why it's there. Uh, normally, I would even say don't play Absol if you think your opponent's good. Like, really good. But people play into it all the time. And it's really easy to play in around. But for some reason, Mind Jack just gets people. And then finally, one Lugia. Uh, here we go. So you can see it, you can see it there. Uh, Lugia, hmm, it's pretty good. It's actually not like specifically good. It's just kind of randomly good. Uh, there are points where Lugia can just win the game with Plasma Gale, and that's really all it's there for. Sometimes you'll just take three prizes and win the game. So there's the Pokemon line again. No Keldeo. Uh, just. Without laser, because people are playing Verzian and Genesect, so you, laser is going to see a drop in play, and because of that, you don't need Keldeo to switch you out. So, we're it's kind of plasma decks are a little bit evolving at the moment. No one really, it's really hard to say what you do and don't need due to the meta game. So going down to the trainer line, we see I only run three Colrus machine. Uh, I think three is a good number, the perfect number at it. Uh, four, you can get uh, Chloris Machine cluttered in your hand late game, and uh, it's very, it's a very disappointing draw when you get end a one or two, and then you draw a Chloris Machine knowing you it doesn't even do anything. So uh, try to keep that. I think three is the number where it's most optimal. Uh, my A spec of choice is Computer Search here. I really think it's the best support, uh, ace back in the game. You can, if you draw a hand with no supporter but you have your ace spec, well, you're going to be wishing it's computer search, and here it is. So, really, that's pretty much what it's there for. It's just, I figure, as long as I can draw cards, I can win the game. So, as long as you have cards in your deck that can enable you to draw cards, to enable you to try and win the game, I think those are the best options generally. Uh, then we have four catcher. Really self-explanatory. It's the best item in the game, like hands down. Two switch. 
uh, again, switching mechanics. I think it's really more there for Blizzard Burn rather than, and maybe if, for like defensive catchers, rather than just uh, get out laser. Um, we have four balls, two two split on Plasma and Ultra. I, I I like the four ball search. You know, Plasma Wall can get anything from your deck, but Ultra Ball lets you discard energies for Thunderous, so you have that little bit of a mix there. And one tool scrapper, I really think it might I might need two in here, but I want to see how the metagame shapes up first. Uh, two with silver mirrors running around and silver bangles. Uh, Tool Scrapper is getting more and more utility as the metagame progresses. So Tool Scrapper may be up to two later on, but for now I'm keeping it at one. Just and kind of wait and see how it plays out. So now uh, the supporter line. Um, yeah, it's pretty simple. Four and four Juniper, best supporters in the game. Three Colrus, two Skyla. Skyla is important because so a lot of times you're one card off from everything you need. So Skyla lets you search out your catcher, a switch, a flow stone, a silver bangle, all those cards, and it really can shut down a lot. It can really open up a lot of plays to shut down your opponent. Uh, Colrus, it's one of the best late game cards, but early game it's not so good. But even early game you can do some tricks with it. Uh, early game you can go, I will... I only have I went first, but I only have two bench, but I only have a chorus, so I can only chorus for two, right? Well, if you just hold it for a turn and you wait for your opponents to play some things down, maybe you'll be able to chorus for four or five, maybe six. Who knows? So, chorus is a very uh, tactical card in the early game, but a very uh, strong card in the late. Finally, we have three Frozen City. Now, because I don't think Verbank and Laser is going to be that good anymore. Frozen City kind of really rounds out the deck against Blastoise and Embor decks. Uh, it can let you do a lot of cool things with uh, just keeping them in check. So Frozen City, one of the really good cards, and I've been <laughs> challenged, but uh, that's okay. We'll uh, we'll ignore that for now. But um, yeah. So here we go. Two more, two more uh, cards to go through. Fro first one is the Floatstone. Again, uh, just a different type of switching mechanic. Kind of lets you play around uh, Blizzard Burn. You know, you can maybe switch out, like foot retreat, and then uh, with Floatstone, and then switch. So cool things like that. Also, we have two Silver Bangle. Now here's how you're going to knock out EXs now, now, now that you do not run Burbank Laser, is you get the 30 damage off Silver Bangle, well 2 Deoxys, Blizzard Burn, plus Silver Bangle, that's 170. So you can still knock out EXs relatively easy with Silver Bangle, so it's a very strong card. And then down to the energy, 4 4, four 2 a uh, pretty standard energy line, uh, you know, you need the colored energy to support all your color uh, multi-type attackers and plasma energy really helps you out with chorus machine and then two DCE uh, sometimes you can get thunderous noise off and sometimes uh, you can uh, use plasma gale and sometimes it's actually a retreat cost so overall pretty good utility off the DCE there so that there that is that is the plasma deck for this week and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, well, I'll be doing this every week, a uh, different deck, hopefully. And if you want to suggest a deck, you know, leave a comment below, and I will pick either pick one you guys suggest, or if I don't see a good one, then uh, I'll just pick one myself, and we'll just do that next week. So, thanks guys for watching, and see you next week.